the six yard box Clark there as well and Colin Clark gives Northern Ireland the lead with 12 minutes of the match gone and that's the delight of a man who can feel his ticket for Mexico being booked the corner in swinging and Clark beating the defence there to the near post the glancing header better had no chance the finish Mohamed forward appeals for a penalty and it's been given Mohammed takes the congratulations of his teammates. Here's the incident. The foot up, and he certainly put the ball through. The question is, would he have lost control? It's an academic question now, though. Tamui has been charged with taking the penalty kick. Although well, we'll have to wait until the penalty area is cleared and Jim Platt now playing as a part-time professional calling for a bit of quiet this isn't going to help his task at all two years out of international football on the field ten minutes and suddenly he's got to try and save a penalty to keep Northern Ireland ahead this will certainly test his mettle Well, he chose wrong, and there was nothing he could do about it. Hamilton's there, got the header in, he's found McDonald, and it's a flick for Quinn. And that's the way to do it. Jimmy Quinn with a very clean header. The flick came from Billy Hamilton. And then a little chip from Alan McDonald. And you won't find a fellow who can head a ball much more cleanly in the Football League than Jimmy Quinn. Hamilton doing enough to release McDonald. And he in turn just teeing it up. For exactly one minute of injury time is enough to satisfy the referee. So the match finishes. And thanks to Jimmy Quinn's second half goal, finishes satisfactorily in a 2-1 win for Northern Ireland. Always the better team, always the more competitive, technically much more aware. And learning a bit about North African football this evening, but a question mark must remain about just how useful an exercise it will be when they take on Algeria in the first of the World Cup matches on June the 3rd Morocco saying that they left six or seven of their professional players behind because of club commitments are coming with a team who really didn't have that much to offer for most of the match getting their goal from the penalty spot Northern Ireland getting theirs from Quinn and in the first half from Colin Clark a couple of the men who have come on the scene since Bain 82 and both of whom seem to have done enough to book their places in Mexico the team now say cheerio to the fans on the cup. Fans who are unlikely to be on their way to Mexico with the team. A thousand pounds plus seems to be the minimum cost of a trip out to Mexico this summer. But they've done well in supporting the team at home. And Northern Ireland have done them proud. Under Billy Bingham's managership, they've only lost a couple of times here in the last six years. They're now unbeaten in eight games. They've conceded only two goals in eight. And they can leave for Guadalajara with every confidence of doing as well as they've done in both their previous appearances in the World Cup Finals. That's Northern Ireland. Billy Bingham still has the difficult choice to make of naming the 22 to take. He'll have to do that before the 8th of May. That's when Northern Ireland leave. Meantime, they leave Windsor Park with a lap of honour.